a break in that blood vessel and then we start to get active bleeding. Now what happens is through our clotting cascade is we get these fibrin strands. Now this will trap blood cells and this will then form what we know as our blood clot. Now in our blood is we have these molecules called plasminogen. Due to the damage of the endothelial wall, we will have what we call TPA. They will bind to plasminogen forming plasmin. And what plasmin will do is it will bind to these fibrin strands. The clot is then going to break down, leading to further bleeding. Our TXA will bind to our plasminogen. It will stop the TPA binding to the plasminogen, creating plasmin. Plasminogen is unable to bind to the fibrin strands to break down that clot, which is what we call fibrinolysis. So that clot will remain stable and there'll be no breakdown of the fibrin strands leading to further bleeding.